Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Sean Result and welcome to my Dumpy Programming series. So I'm actually just sitting outside my girlfriend's house, so I decided to make some videos while I have time. I'm waiting for her. Anyway, today we're going to be learning how to make our own procedures. So before we start, um, what's the difference between a procedure and a function? Let me show you guys the difference. Basically, a procedure does something, um, but, you, but you don't get you don't get any, you don't get anything back. And with a function, you actually get um, something back. At the button, as you can see, the button creates a procedure, which won't give us a result back. It basically just does something. For instance, the show message is a procedure because. Um, we, we, we don't get the result back, we just do something. But if we, for instance, listen, let's add a variable called VAR is, let's call it variable of type string. But for instance, if we have a function, the function would give us something back, such as if we, if we, we use the copy function. Will give us will give us a result back. Let's add hello world. It's like from the first one and mm, four characters. No, let's second one four characters further. Then we can show message this variable. Okay. Apologize for the cough. So the show, show, the show message doesn't, doesn't give us anything back, it just um, does something, it shows this box to us. But the copy function gave us something back, it gave us the um, from the second character, four characters further. So that's the difference between a procedure and a function. So let's learn how to write our own procedures today. Let's add a new button. With my mouse. Okay. Okay, so let's go to the top. Here you guys can see um, procedures are being colon or being initialized basically. This is basically double procedures. It's going to be accessible um, from anywhere. Let's add another procedure. It's called procedure. Um, what will this procedure do? <laughs> Change form color. This is our procedure basically. So now you can press Control Shift C. They will create this for us here. Where we can write our code. So you press Control Shift and C for that. Um, Yes, basically just add a, a procedure um, and it adds the form name which is TFRM home to, in my case like uh, my name is my form name is FRM home but you have to add a T to it you guys see here from start okay and then just dot the procedure name so what, so what will this procedure actually do just change our form color form home dot Color color equals is like a um, CL black. Uh, let's add some animation to it, kind of. Um, so use the sleep procedure within this procedure. Basically, the sleep procedure um, work, works in milliseconds. So basically, does nothing for a certain amount of milliseconds. Basically, it, it um, basically pauses the application for 100 milliseconds. Let's pause it and then we'll change the color again to maybe yellow and then red and then blue and then last color will end with uh, let's make it the full color again okay so this procedure, this procedure currently isn't being used by anything, so let's go to the button. This cars are kind of, are kind of distracting me anyway. 
So let's call this procedure now. How do we call it? Change form color. We won't give it anything here because we didn't say for it to give it anything. So let's now compile. So this will do, do the normal thing. Let's maximize this. This, this will do the normal thing. And then our own procedure will be here. As you guys can see, it just changes the color. Make it a bit slower. 200. I hear my girlfriend's cat behind me. Minks. You guys see him? He's in the tree. Don't know if you guys can see him. Anyway. Hey, Minks. Let's compile. Uh, where's my. Oh. Okay. Boom. So let's add it a bit differently. Let's add parameters to this one. So now we can go to this. Let's first remove this thing. Okay. Let's add some parameters to this now. We'll say. Um, I color we just have type integer this will now expect us to um, give it an integer value control shift C again Oops. control shift C uh, so we'll this one. sorry guys we'll this one okay control shift C it's now created this procedure for us again now it expects an I color and now you can do this basically Let's move to sleep now. Where is the guy? I don't see it. I don't see him. Anyway, so now we can add this. You say, if I, I color equals one, then display back. Well, let, let's use a case statement for this. It would be much better. Case I color. Okay, so if it's one, then do that. If it's two, do that. If it's three, do that. If it's four, do that. If it's five, do that. Okay. Let's add a spin edit to our form. Spin, spin edit. Just have it here. Increase the font a bit to 16. Okay, so in the parameters of the changing form function, we'll just now add spin edit one dot value. Let's change the spin edit so it can't go lower than one and can't go above five. So the minimum value would be one and the maximum would be five. And the current value will be where do we do that? Um, value. Let's say to one by default. Okay, let's compile. Oh my back. Okay. <laughs> you guys see him so now set to one it's black if it's two it would be yellow if it's three it would be red if it's four it would be blue and five is the normal color four is blue if you add for instance nine and do it it will just go to the nearest one and basically I have to create our own procedures guys that's it for this video guys um, the next video will learn how to create our own functions so thanks for watching guys make sure to like comment subscribe and share i'll see you in the next video Bye.